Hello grade 12s. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Velilene Nkosi. In this lesson, I will do the presentations about endocrine system. And the endocrine system falls under the topic endocrine systems and homeostasis. So here I have the examination guideline. This guideline is for life sciences grade 12. So we are on endocrine system and homeostasis. So this topic falls under paper one when we write the exam and then collect about 84 marks. So 84 marks, it's a lot of marks. We must understand this topic. So today we will only do endocrine systems. So endocrine system, we will elaborate on the difference between endocrine and exocrine gland, definition of a hormone, and the locations of each of the following glands. Using diagram, the hormone they secrete and the functions of each hormone. So these glands here, I will show you the locations of each glands and the hormones they secrete and the functions of each hormone. So this is the examination guideline. Remember, you must have this guideline. Make sure you have this guideline. If you don't have it, you can get it from the Department of Basic Education website. So you must have this because this helps us to, to know what the examiner wants us to know. So it's very important to have it. It will guide you. So without wasting more time, let's get to it. So first of all, I would like to define what is a gland. So a gland is a specialized group of cells that works together to produce and release a substance needed by the body. So this is the definition of a gland. So this substance can be hormones, enzymes, markers, sweat, or other fluid. And then there are two main types of gland different by how they release their secretion. So these glands are endocrine glands and the exocrine glands. So we need to know the difference between the exocrine glands and the endocrine glands. So this is very important. It's part of the examination guideline. So the following table. So this table, I will explain the difference, which is the difference between endocrine and the exocrine gland. So in this table, here is the feature. So I will and name the feature and explain if exocrine gland have that feature or it doesn't have. Like here, we have duct present. So in endocrine gland, there is no duct that is required. But in exocrine gland, a duct is required. So this is the difference between exocrine gland in terms of duct present. And then another different is the secretion they release. So, so in endocrine gland the, 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 the release is directly secreted into the bloodstream while in exocrine gland the secretion is secreted through duct so there must be a tube that is connecting the gland and whatever the target that the gland want to deliver the secretion so this is the different this one is secreted directly into the bloodstream this one through the duct to the body or the surface or internal organ. So this is another different. Another different is the secretion type. With endocrine gland, they secrete hormones. But exocrine gland, they might secrete enzymes, markers, sweat, digestive juice, etc. etc. So this one only secrete hormones. But this one secrete this enzyme markers sweat and digestive juice and etc so and then another different it's the effect on the target so the effect uh, it, with endocrine gland act on a distant target so it doesn't have to be near the target but with exocrine gland since, since the secretion has to travel via duct so it act on a nearby tissue or the surface so whatever the target that the exocrine gland is targeting, it must be near the gland. So with exocrine gland, doesn't have to be near. So, and then 
the next with examples so with examples like pituitary gland it's an endocrine gland thyroid gland is also an endocrine gland adrenaline gland and uh, the testes so exocrine gland examples of an exocrine gland are salivary gland sweat gland pancreas uh, the exocrine gland remember pancreas falls under endocrine gland and the exocrine gland so and in endocrine gland it secret insulin and glucagon while here it secret pancreatic juice so the, the pancreas falls under both endocrine gland and the exocrine gland so next up is the definition of a hormone so a hormone is a chemical messenger in the body which travels in the bloodstream to cause an effect elsewhere in the body so remember we say endocrine glands secret a hormone so these hormones are messengers to so they deliver a message to a particular organ so this is the definition of a hormone and then now let's check the lens so we must know this lens and know their location like we have hypothalamus which is in the brain so we have pituitary gland which is at the base of the brain so let me get my highlighter here so like this is the hypothalamus so hypothalamus is somewhere in the middle of the brain but the pituitary gland is at the base so it's at the base of the brain and then we have thyroid gland so the thyroid gland is somewhere in the neck and then we have the pancreas pancreas is in the abdominal cavity and then adrenaline gland is in both the kidneys so you must know these locations and then we have ovaries ovaries are only found on a female and then we have testes so the testes are only found on a male so in the next slides i will explain the hormones that are secreted by this gland and the functions of each hormone so you must listen to what i'm saying because i will explain in that so here i will start with the hypothalamus so a uh, hypothalamus the location of the hypothalamus is in the brain so this is in the brain and then the hormone they secrete it's a adh so the adh is antidiuretic hormone and then the target the target that this hormone is target it's a kidney so this hormone as it secreted by the hypothalamus the hypothalamus will only secrete this hormone into the blood but the target organ is the kidney so the functions of an adh it stimulate the reabsorption of water into the tubule so inside the kidney if water inside our blood is becoming less then the hypothalamus will secrete this adh into the blood and then this adh will cause water to be reabsorbed into the blood but inside the kidney and then this is function of adh so the adh again it protect the body against dehydration so dehydration is when our body has less water so this adh prevent dehydration or it protect the body against dehydration and then next gland it's pituitary gland so the pituitary gland secret a lot of hormones so the, the location of a pituitary gland is at the base of the brain it's like here so and then the hormones it secret tsh so the tsh is thyroid stimulating hormone and then it secret fsh which is follicle stimulating hormone we talked about it in fertilization and then it secret lh which is the luteinizing hormone and then it secret prolactin prolactin it is related to breastfeeding or milk and then it secret growth hormones this one are for growth so in the next slide i will explain the tag i will show you the target and explain the functions of each 
of these hormones that are secreted by the pituitary gland. Uh, first of all, it's a TSH. So TSH is a thyroid stimulating hormone. So where is it target? It target thyroid gland. So the thyroid gland is here. So this hormone is secreted by the pituitary gland, but is targeting a another gland. And the functions of a TSH is stimulate the growth of a thyroid gland. So for this thyroid gland to grow, it's stimulated by the TSH. And it stimulate thyroid gland to secrete thyroxine hormone. And then again, this gland, it secrete the thyroxine hormone. So for it to secrete this hormone, the pituitary gland will secrete TSH so that this hormone can secrete the thyroxine hormone. So I will explain the functions of the thyroxine hormone when I come to the thyroid gland. So these are the functions of a TSH. Then next is a FSH. So FSH still is secreted by the pituitary gland. So the target of an FSH are ovaries and testes. So the functions of the FSH. So ovaries are this in female, while in male it target the, the testes. So these are the locations or the target organ that this hormone is target. And then the functions of an FSH. It stimulates the development of follicles in female. So in female, it stimulates the development of follicles. And then in male, it stimulates the testes to produce spermatozoa. So these are the functions of the FSH. So hopefully, I hope you are taking notes here because these are very important. They might pop up in Turing examination. Then next, it's the luteinizing hormone. So luteinizing hormone is also secreted by the pituitary. So the target organ are ovaries and the testes. So the functions of a luteinizing hormone, it stimulate ovulation in female. So the luteinizing hormone stimulate ovulation. And then in male, it stimulate the production of the male hormone, which is testosterone. So this luteinizing hormone stimulate the productions of testosterone in male. Next hormone is GH, which is the growth hormone. So the target of this hormone are bones. And then the functions of the GH or the functions of a growth hormone, it stimulates the growth of a long bones and the skeletal muscle. So this is the functions of a GH. And then the hormone is prolactin. So the prolactin, the target organ, are mammary gland. And then the functions of the prolactin, it stimulates milk production and the secretion. So if the, the female have a, a small infant or has a kid, as they produce milk for their kids, this hormone is responsible for the production of the milk. So this is in then this hormone is secreted by the pituitary gland. Then next we go to the thyroid gland. This is another gland. So the thyroid gland location is at the trachea. So it's found at the trachea here. And then the hormone is the thyroxine hormone. So, and then the target organ, it's throughout the body. So this hormone doesn't have a specific target organ. The functions of the thyroxine is to regulate metabolic rate. And then it affects growth and functioning of the heart and the nervous system. So here, when we talk about metabolic rate, we talk about respiration. So this hormones regulate metabolic rate. So <laughs> this is the functions of a thyroxine hormone. And then another gland. So another gland, it's a pancreas. So pancreas is this one just beneath or just underneath the stomach. So the pancreas location is at the loop of the duodenum. So in the we know that duodenum is the first part of the small intestine and the hormones are insulin and glucagon. So the hormones that are secreted by the pancreas are insulin and glucagon. And the target organ, liver and the muscle. So they target the liver and the muscle. So the functions, so insulin convert glucose into glycogen in the liver. Here, if the blood glucose 
is high, then the pancreas will secrete an insulin and then this insulin will re reduce the level of glucose in the blood by converting glucose into the glycogen. Uh, I mean into, yes, into the glycogen in the leaf. And then glucagon convert glycogen into the glucose in the leaf. So if this level now drop below normal and then the pancreas will will secrete glucagon and then this glucagon will convert the glycogen into the glucose into the glucose so glycogen the functions of a glucagon is to convert glycogen into glucose in the leaf or in the muscles so these are the functions of the insulin and glucagon so another gland is adrenaline gland so the adrenaline gland is at the top of each kid each kidney it has the adrenaline gland so the location on both kidneys the hormones are adrenaline and aldosterone so the functions the adrenaline prepare body for the emergency situation so and then we have aldosterone so the functions of the aldosterone is to regulate the amount of salt in the blood so this is the functions of the aldosterone both are secreted by the adrenaline gland and then another gland is the ovaries so the ovaries are only in female so the locations is the pelvis region these are the ovaries pelvis is this part here so the ovaries are found in the pelvis and then the hormone they secrete they secrete estrogen and the progesterone so we talked about it when we do human reproduction system and then the functions uh, estrogen the functions of the estrogen is to thicken endometrium we remember the uterus wall we talk we call it endometrium and then another function it develops female sexual characteristics so the sexual characteristics of a female are developed by the estrogen and then we have progesterone so the pro the functions of the progesterone it continue thickening endometrium so we talked about the during the menstrual cycle menstrual cycle so the function of the progesterone continue thickening endometrium and then it maintains endometrium during pregnancy so it's the functions of the progesterone which is secreted by the ovaries and then another gland is testes so the testes are only in may so the locations is the pelvic pelvic region the hormones are testosterone so the functions of the testosterone is to develop male sexual characteristics those are the functions of the testosterone so i hope i make sense so if you have watched this video to this far thank you very much uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so if you are studying good luck with your studies thank you very much god bless you